Top of the morning. What's going on, my dears? Mm-hmm. Hold on. Did you like that lashes? Hold on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bitch, I ain't got these big lips for nothing, nigga. <laughs> anyway. Hello. So we would be going to be talking about some real serious shit. Some, you know, some grown people shit this morning. Because, you know, if you, any of y'all, y'all know I do um, tarot readings. If any of y'all want a tarot reading, y'all hit me up on Simply Book Me, okay? So you can find me at Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. So when I'm doing my readings, a lot of you guys have been getting that finance and career is affecting your relationship card. And then we always end up going into a big conversation about that because all the ladies is like, yeah, I want to date and everything, but I'm not ready because my money's just not right. I ain't trying to go nowhere broke, this, this, and that. Listen, you know what I be having to tell my ladies? A real nigga ain't clocking your money anyway. Don't let that shit get in the way, boo. I don't know what the fuck the year 2018 did to motherfuckers, but this been a tough-ass year for a lot of motherfuckers. I mean, a lot. I think it was the fucking retrogrades. But anyway... Apparently that shit was affecting a lot of people's fucking money. Shit, look at me. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm self-employed right now. You know what I'm saying? So, and especially anybody knows that when you're self-employed, you got your good weeks, you got your good months, and you got your bad months. You got your times when money is rolling in and you got times when shit is slow. But don't allow that shit to affect you in regards to your personal life and, and relationships and love. Because if someone really like you, it's more about chemistry than it's about what you can financially gain from someone. I'm really hoping that you guys are really not out there dating people, worrying about what you can financially gain from somebody or worrying about somebody's fucking money. Of course, I don't want to date nobody broke because no, I don't want to date no nigga with no car. No, I don't want to date with no nigga with no house. He's still living with his mother because I got things to do. So, I mean, on that aspect, I can understand. I can understand you being broke and you not want to date another broke motherfucker because that's a liability on you church respect but at the same time for the ladies i ain't talking about the men no men y'all need to have your shit together i'm sorry do not men do not date if you can't afford to date shall i repeat that do not date if your black ass can't afford to date if you ain't got no car if you ain't got your own shit don't be out here trying to motherfucking solicit dick Cause you ain't got nowhere to take them and you ain't got nowhere, you ain't got no transportation to take them nowhere. You ain't got nowhere to take them and you ain't got no no way how to take them nowhere. So do not be out there dating if you can't afford to date. Now back to the ladies. A real nigga that really like you, he don't give a fuck about what you got on. I yeah, and, and that's the thing, like especially me. I've been going out on a lot of dates lately. And I just be like, but I don't got no whole bunch of clothes and shit like that. This is and that, you know, this and that. They be like, bitch, I don't care what you got on. Y'all ask the cute every day on on that really like you he don't give a fuck about what the fuck you got on he gonna be trying to take this shit off anyway as long as you ain't coming outside with plaids and stripes bitch because that ain't right plaids and stripes nigga that ain't right now unless you coming out look like a straight cold ass fucking man that's something different that's something different but do not let your finances and money and shit get in your way like i dead ass had niggas be like well it's always the one that you really don't want to go out there is really going the extra mile ain't it ain't it uh okay so i had a nigga that was trying to get me to go out with him recently and i'm like uh i ain't got nobody to watch the kids this and that he was like okay so what's the tea like what's the problem like do you need a babysitter how much money you need for a babysitter nigga I, like well, how much how much a babysitter gonna charge let me know i'll give you the money for a babysitter let's go like a real nigga that really fuck with you if you ain't got nothing to wear he'd be like okay bitch our date could be us going to go get you an outfit to wear for our next date let's go we're gonna go tomorrow we're gonna get you something to wear and we're gonna get some drinks nigga like you a nigga like you like he don't give a fuck he don't give a fuck like i legitimately had dates at the fucking park and shit like that like bitch you really because i me being getting in my own way oh i ain't got no money i don't like going nowhere i ain't got no money she be like all right bitch what what you want to go to you want what you want to go to starbucks what you want to go to the park so we gotta spend no money so you don't be feeling no type of way all right bitch come on let's go to the park i just want to see you shit when you get paid so you can have money in your pocket. Now, you know what? Fuck that shit, bitch. You ain't got no money. You feel insecure because you ain't got no money, bitch. Here's $50. Put $50 in your pocket. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I ain't got time to be fucking with you right now, Rez. Let's go. Because you, you been, how long you been having me waiting for this date, bitch? I'm ready to go. Okay? A nigga that really fuck with you, they do not give a fuck about your financial situation. They will put money in your pocket to make you feel okay. They just want to spend time with you. They just want to get to know you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just telling y'all, y'all don't let that shit get in the way. 
on everything. Don't ever feel no type of way about being humble and coming to God and just letting God know, like, look, I feel insecure in this. And I don't want to let this get in the way of me finding happiness anymore. And pray on it. Pray on it. Give that shit to God. Like, seriously, do not let your finances in your career get in the way of you truly finding happiness. Do not keep yourself stuck in the fucking house just because you do not have money there are things that you can go out and do that do not require fucking money and if your friends and family really fuck with you like they just want to see you smile you know what i'm saying they just want to see you enjoying your time and especially if they know you're in a fucked up financial situation right now your friends your family and whoever it is that you're talking to and dating they know they just want to see you smile you know what i'm saying so don't get in your own way like seriously, I have to remind myself of that all the time because there'd be a lot of really nice guys that really want to go out with me and I block my own self. Anything, I honestly think that these men will probably respect you a little bit more because like you're humble. You're like, look, I'm not trying to be a burden on you. You know what I'm saying? If anything, I want to make sure that I'm not coming completely broke. Like, I want, like, if we're going out, I want to be able to put the tip down on the table or something like that. I don't want every fucking thing to be on you. So, respect, trust, and believe. These men will respect you a lot more for that. You know what I'm saying? So, communicate how you feel. If the man tells you to chill, chill. He got you. Put your shit on and let's go. Put your shit on and let's go, ladies. Okay? Do not get in the way of your own happiness. I, I'm telling you, do not get in the way of your own happiness. Because eventually by the second and third time that you done did that shit to him, this nigga want to take you out and, and, and enjoy time with you, and you blocking him because you ain't got no fucking money, he going to be like, you know what, I ain't got time for this shit. Because he want to look at you like you're insecure. Do not block yourself. Hey, right, bitch. I'm going to go. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday. If y'all have any topics, send them in. Drop, 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 drop. Drop them in the inbox, nigga. I see them up.